Welcome back to Mark and Cindy's Food Forest. I'm Tropical Fruit Man, and today we're going to look at the ice cream bean fruit. I've picked some off the tree, and we're still trying to figure out when the best time to pick them is. And from what I hear, is when you let them get too yellow, that they're overripe. So, I tried to get these off. I tried to find the ones that are as plump as I can find. And we're going to take a look at that in a minute. But first I want to talk about the ice cream bean tree. Now as you can see this tree here is a spreader. It likes to spread out. Uh, this tree is native to South America and other tropical areas. And basically there's over a hundred species of the ice cream bean fruit tree. And there is as many as uh, 50 that actually produce fruit. Now this tree here I planted about five years ago and it was only about like uh, waist high and we had a hurricane actually first we had a freeze and being that it was a young tree it uh, killed a good portion of the tree I had to cut it way low about knee high or a little bit less but the great thing about these trees even though they don't take the cold weather when they're young uh, you can cut them way back and they will grow back uh, to a full tree. This tree here has got to be at least 50 feet tall. Uh, they get as high as, uh, as high as 90 feet, but the average is about 60 feet tall or so. Uh, now, even though it's a tree, uh, it is a form of a legume, even though it grows like a tree. And they produce those pods that you see there on the, on the plate. Uh, they use this in different countries and different places when they grow the trees as a shade tree to protect coffee crops and to protect uh, chocolate crops also. So it is a great shade tree. Uh, the thing is it will take a heavy pruning so if you need to cut it way back you can. Uh, from what I understand the new fruit or the fruit grows on the new wood or the old wood rather. And uh, But it, it can take a heavy pruning. You may sacrifice a little bit of the uh, of the fruit production when you do that but then like a year or so later you should have enough growth again. Uh, the pods are produced on the end of these branches here. They, they produce a flower that comes out and then out of that flower you'll have maybe four, three, four, five, whatever of the uh, fruits that come out. Uh, this fruit tree would produce probably in three years. It took me five because after the freeze we had a hurricane and I had to restake the tree and uh, I had to cut a few things off of it and it did grow back um, other trunks off the main trunk as it grew back. So they say three years. Uh, I've also read between five and six but uh, it took me five years to finally get my fruit. So let's take a look at them here and as I've stated you don't want them to get too yellow because then they say they're overripe. This is what it looks like here. I cut one open earlier and I tried one. I'm not sure if this is any better but we're going to give it a try. It's got these white cottony looking fruits and it's supposed to take, taste like vanilla ice cream. So here it goes. This one's better than the first one I tried earlier today. Now, they are different varieties of these, so I'm not sure which variety, if this is the Inga Edulis or not. If you know anything about ice cream beans, let me know. Uh, some of these pods on different species can get as long as three feet long, okay? So, this one here, uh, from what I've seen on the tree thus far, they've only put out the shorter pods, they're smaller. They're not as big as some pods I've seen on different species. That seed fell apart. Fell apart. See this here is the seed. Some of them are bigger than that one I have here. I have a hard time getting the fruit off of it. But these, these seeds are only viable for about two to three days and then you have to plant them. They'll start sprouting actually. As a matter of fact, if these are too ripe, what you'll see is that they'll be sprouting actually inside the ice cream bean pod. And uh, like I said, you have to get them in soil pretty quickly 
uh, before they uh, start sprouting or when they're, you know, before you can, get, you gotta get them in quickly just to make sure they take. If you let them go too long, then you, you've lost time and they won't, they won't germinate, but they got a high germination rate as long as you plant them quick enough. Uh, these trees here only need some potash and they say to get an organic potassium to feed them. Uh, they actually fix their own nitrogen. So they produce their own nitrogen and add nitrogen to the soil. So there's no need to fertilize these trees with nitrogen, but a potash is usually helpful and it doesn't need a lot, just a little bit of potash. So anyway, these trees are unique. Uh, can't get all the fruit off of that one, but this one's okay. I'm not really thoroughly impressed. Maybe I have the wrong species. I'm going to try to let a few more get maybe a little bit riper than what I have here. But it's not bad. Got a sweet taste to it. Again, another one of the seeds. You can see right here the green. Like it almost wants to start sprouting there. So anyway, it's not bad. I'm not like hugely impressed. I've watched other videos where people try other varieties and say that they're really good. So anyway, I uh, just thought I'd share this with you today. Uh, leave your comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll talk to you soon. Keep growing and be blessed. Hi, I'm Tropical Fruit Man. Thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and we hope to put out some more videos soon. Thanks for watching.